today I filmed this tutorial for you. Can you guess who I am? If you guessed Ursula from The Little Mermaid, you're right. I'm going to show you how to get this here and this makeup, so stay tuned! So for Ursula's hair, you want to start off with some texture here, and I'm just going to brush mine out right now because I have a bunch of product in it. Okay, and now I'm going to section my hair, just like right here on the side, just the top right there. Put this all the way right in, and then all of this over here. Take this one down, and we want to tease the crap out of this. We want it to be really high. So I'm just going to use my goodie teasing brush with my trust in my hairspray. And you want to tease in small layers because you want to get a lot of volume, especially at the front. So just spray your hairspray, and like I said, tease the crap out of it. <laughs> focusing on the front so don't worry about what it looks like in the back so on the bottom of her hair she kind of has like pieces hanging down little pieces like sticking off around her neck so to achieve that I'm going to split my hair into three sections and we're going to twist the sections like this and leave out little pieces at the end and just kind of pin the twist down at the nape of my neck. Okay, so just twist. Do that some of the end. And just kind of position it so you have some pieces stuck off. And this is why it helps to have your hair textured or curled, because the little pieces stick off better. I have a Tiche Dry Shampoo and to make my hair white I'm going to spray this up close to my hair because it'll make like a white cast. Okay, and lastly I'm just going to tease little pieces on the end, kind of make them messier and also hair fuller. And then just spray your hair with hairspray and lots of it. And that's all for Ursula's hair. But for the makeup, I'm going to start with my face primer, the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiant. And just apply this all over my face so that my makeup will last all night long. Okay, now before I apply the base um, on my face, I'm going to take my Concealer F70 brush by Sigma with my Conceal RX Position Formula Concealer and just help to conceal my eyebrows. I'm going to be putting white all over my face before I apply anything else. 
but this will just help. Now I'm going to go with my next jumbo eye pencil in milk and put this basically everywhere on my face. covered with the white. I'm going to go in with the purple. Ursula is kind of like a gray tone purple, she's not really a bright purple. So I'm going to take this color here, which I think is sweltered from one of the temperature rising quads. I'm not 100% sure. And I'm going to take my Sigma Large Powder F30 brush with that purple and put it all over my face, except for on my eyes. I'm also going to take this Shockaholic uh, purple eyeshadow from MAC with the same powder brush, but just really lightly. Go over all the same areas. Once you have the desired amount of purple, you can also take it down your neck. I'm just going to do uh, my face today. I'm going to go back with the concealer brush and the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil of Milk. And Ursula has like a V for her hair that comes down, so we're going to draw that with the brush. Just make sure you blend it into the hairline, and because my hair is not super white, I don't want the V to be super white. She also kind of has like white side burns, so we're just going to I'm, I'm just going to take my Satish Trash Shampoo again and just spray it close to my hairline so it blends in a little bit better. Now I'm going to take my Milani Liquify Black Eyeliner and draw on her eyebrows. So her eyebrows are really, really high. So she kind of has like the curl on this side and then it kind of goes up into a curved point. And then this one doesn't have the curve. They're thicker on this side, shorter on this side and also use this Urban Decay palette. I'm not sure what it's called. It's really old. And I'm going to start with this color here, which is called Shattered. <laughs> and my Sigma Eyeshading E55 brush. And this basically goes on her lid. So the lid, we are going to go right up to my natural eyebrows. the nose and out right to the end of the eyebrow and we're going to go underneath as well but we're going to leave that alone for right now. So now I have this random pigment, it's like a seafoam green, I don't know where I got it. Uh, and I'm going to take the same e-shading uh, e -shading, eye shading brush but I'm going to wet it and dip it in the pigment and put it all over the same area as I did with the bluish color. take my Real Techniques eyeshading brush back into the Urban Decay palette with this mildew color and I'm going to bring that right up to my fake eyebrows. Kind of just bring it down on the side. So now I'm 
because our soles are just kind of big on the bottom. We already lined our water line with the Nick Shumble Pencil of Milk, but I am going to kind of draw on my lower lashes to kind of make my eyes appear bigger. Now I'm going to take my eyeshading brush again and it's cleaned off and I'm just going to go back into the blue shadow color just on the very top of the brush so like this and bring this below where we just drew that white and then with the eyeshading brush and that green sea foam pigment I'm going to go over the blue. Now I'm going to take my MAC 109 brush and go back with the original purple color that we use and just go underneath my eyes with it right under where we just put that color so that there's no blank space and I'm kind of doing that off a bit next I'm going to take my E40 tapered blending brush with this shockaholic purple color and I'm going to contour a little I just want a very small nose so I'm just going to contour a little on the sides there she also has very defined cheeks, so I'm just gonna define mine a little more. She also has a very defined chin. by Annabelle and line my lips I'm gonna extend them a little bit she has a very pointed cupid's bow I'm going to take my e.l.f. Professional Lip Defining Brush with my Tarte Glamazon Pure Performance Lipstick in Wild and put that all over where I just put the lip liner. And she has a little model right here in the throat. The last thing is I'm going to go in with the Ardell eyelashes. I'm going to use these top ones here, they're 134s. And I have one cut in half. So I'm not going to put any mascara on. Her eyelashes are only defined on the very end. So that's why they are cut in half, like this. So I'm just going to take some Kiss Glue, just wait till, till that gets tacky before you apply it. Okay, so once those are applied and the glue is dried, just take your eyelash curler. And just curl them with your real lashes. I hope you guys like it. Comment down below and let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys.